Hey you guys, this is kind of a weird video for me, uh, building my own, uh, Hackintosh, or at least that's the plan, um, I guess if that didn't work I could run PC, but, uh, I really, I was a PC fan for many, many years, and, um, I was lucky enough to get a gift of a MacBook Pro, and ever since then, it's, like, night and day difference. Uh, at first, obviously, it was very hard for me to adjust to, uh, and the main thing really was just learning the stupid stuff, like, or not stupid, but, you know, the simple stuff, like the command keys for, you know, control and paste and stuff like that, um, but I'm having trouble with this build, and I didn't skimp on it, I bought good parts, I bought good equipment, um, the only thing I really skimped on was the case. It's, uh, Corsair, uh, well, I'll show it to you, I can't remember, I can't remember the name. I'll put it in the description, it's, it's that Corsair one that's about under, excuse me, under a hundred bucks. And, I have... Some of the Corsair, the silent fans with the rubber, you know, kind of, uh, surroundings to, to, to reduce vibration. And then I have a EV GA GeForce GTX 970, a Corsair CX850M. I have two Samsung solid state drives. I believe they're 250 or 256 a piece, and I have the Corsair um, all-in-one liquid cooling system, and I did verify that that's the one that fits. Um, so I haven't done this in a really long time. I used to be really good at it when I was a kid, but the problem was I just haven't done it in literally like 20 years so um i'm looking for help um in this i have the right amount of ram i have uh four sticks which pretty much maxes out the ram of course there uh let's see if i can get a look at it from the side it's the corsair vengeance uh something or other but anyways, it's the most RAM I could fit in this thing, as far as I know. There might have been uh, more RAM available, but it was ridiculously expensive. Um, so, in terms of the problem that I'm having, and I, I, I really don't understand why this would happen, because I've never, ever, ever had this issue before. Uh, basically when I turn it on, it just, like, cycles on and cycles off. And when I say that, it, I, I don't see anything on the monitor. I don't see anything anywhere. It's just like it, um, it's pretty, probably pretty ignorant for me to say, given the industry I'm in. But, uh, it's almost like a power supply issue. Like, it, the 850M isn't enough power for it or something, which doesn't make any sense, because, uh, I did the, uh, you know, kind of the thing where you go online, and you enter all your components, and, uh, they said everything is compatible, the only thing I think they mentioned was that there was some type of, uh, BIOS update for the, uh, BIOS, obviously, that needed to be done for this thing to run, um, and then, the, obviously, the most important thing that I forgot was the processor, which is the Intel Cabby Lake i5, uh, the fastest one they have. Um, so I spec'd all this out on more than one of those websites that tells you yay or nay, this stuff goes together. Uh, it is a... Uh, kind of becoming kind of a pain in the you know what because I spent quite a bit of money hoping for this awesome machine and now I'm struggling with it and I already I already booted or I already uh got my Apple 
operating system all ready to go to upload on it and everything. So, um, if anyone could be a help, I'd, I'd really appreciate it. Um, I, I would even consider paying someone if they're willing to have a, like, if they know what's going on and we're willing to have a phone call. Um, but yeah, uh, other than that, nothing's been damaged. I've been super careful with everything. Um, all the plugs, as far as I know, have gone in the right spot. Um, and I just, I'm really stuck here. So, if there's anything that anyone can do, cheers to you guys, because I really appreciate it. Thanks so much.